I told you, don't put that oil filter in there backwards. And you went and did it anyway. Well, everybody, and welcome back to D-Ray Shop. About five years ago, I did a video on a Honda ATV oil filter and as to which direction you install the oil filter to keep from damaging your engine. Well, it just so happens that today, Randy and I are working on a 2010 TRX 420 FM, which is four-wheel drive, manual shift. This one just so happened to have the oil filter, but did it backwards when it arrived to us. And I'm gonna show you what happens if you put that filter in backwards. So let's take a look. All right, here's our 420 that we're working on. And as you can see, the old thing's in pretty good condition. Those tires and stuff are real good on it. Uh, it doesn't have a speedometer on it, so I don't really have an idea of how many miles or hours it has on it. But uh, Randy's got the, the motor all laid out here. And it's just, it's your basic 420 manual shift. Uh, we've got everything cleaned up. We're just about ready to reassemble it. I'm gonna show you a few things though before we do that. Now all this got started by having the oil filter put in incorrectly. And this is the, the area that we're gonna talk about. Now this is torn down so it's kinda hard to tell what it is, but this is the actual engine case where the oil filter would fit. And there's your cover for it, okay? now. Uh, Randy's got the filter that we took out of it, and I'm going to zoom in here and kind of take a look at it. Flip that filter over, Randy. Let's see the numbers on the back side of it there. There you go. Yeah, see, that was a, that's a Napa Gold filter. That's actually a Napa filter. Now, as you can see from looking at that thing from the other side, uh, where the rubber grommet would normally fit in the cover, you can see the indentation on it where the spring was up against it. So, Randy, show them how that filter was stuck in there. That filter was actually in there backwards. Go ahead and flip that thing over. When we got it, that's the way, that's the way it arrived to us. And so basically, the cover was fitted up against the back of the filter, which completely stopped the oil flow through it. Now, you can see that how easy it was to put that filter in there backwards. Now, if you look at the newer style filters, now this is an aftermarket filter, but it's made the same way that Honda makes theirs. If you'll notice, there's a ridge on the outside of it where the grommet is, okay? So you can put the filter in there correctly, but you can't put it in there incorrectly. Cause see that ridge keeps it from fitting into the case. Now he's gonna flip that filter over and it'll go right in there like it's supposed to. All right. Now on the aftermarket ones, they're not really marked to identify it other than the ridge. But now if you look at an OEM Honda filter, it'll actually have printed, you know, one side toward the engine and it'll say this side's this side toward cover. So you, it gives you a little more reference as to how to install that thing in there correctly. Okay, so now on to what happens when you don't install your oil filter correctly. Now what we've got here is our transmission. And this is our old gears and this is our new ones here. When the machine arrived to us, you could uh, turn the key on, it showed to be in neutral, you could start it up, and it was actually in a gear. You could actually give it throttle and it would move. If you tried to shift it into another gear, it would just lock up and wouldn't move at all. And the reason for this being is we got this little gear cluster here. And that is, uh, it's your first and reversed, reverse idle gears that run on the counter shaft. Now he's gonna pull those gears apart. And what you're gonna see in there is there is a bushing. That bushing splines onto the shaft. You can see where the flutes are cut in it for the splines. And those also have oil holes in it because that has pressure lubrication that lubricates the gears onto the bushings. So when you assemble all those three gears back together, or those two gears in that bushing, it allows those gears to freewheel and spin on that bushing until one of the transmission dogs engages into it and puts it in that perspective gear. Now, if you look at the other gear set, this is the ones that come out of it and this is what our problem is. You go ahead and pull that apart if it will. Basically, due to lack of lubrication, the bushing is actually seized onto this gear and we had to pry it off of that one. But you can see where those gears burn up. Yeah, sure did. And with the gears being seized up, I guess the owner uh, not really understanding what had happened uh, was trying to force it through a couple of gears and it actually knocked a couple of teeth off of one of these gears. So we can roll it around and find it. There it is right there. So there's a gear tooth missing right there. And also on the shaft itself, right there. Focus, 
right there there's a gear tooth missing. So we're having to replace an entire shaft and basically several hundred dollars worth of transmission gears and a boatload of labor just because they put their oil filter in backwards. Ain't worth a darn, is it? Sure ain't. <laughs> Well, alrighty guys, well I just want to kind of give you an idea of what can happen if you put that oil filter in there backwards. Now, I'm not knocking Napa filters. Uh, Napa makes good filters. They're actually made by either Wix or some other vendor. Just be sure that you put them in correctly and you won't have any problems, all right? Well, as always guys, appreciate y'all coming by the shop. Swing by again sometime. You never know what we're gonna work on next. Okay, well, as always, appreciate y'all watching. Y'all have a good one. Catch y'all next time around. All right, Randy, put her back together. You're on your own, buddy. <laughs>